Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Miss Dark Phoenix is back with Batman and Spider-Man bringing you guys the latest episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is the first time you're catching my channel. Hit that subscribe button because I post videos every week and I'd love to have you guys a part of the nerdy, geeky family that we have here on YouTube. If this is the first time you're catching my videos, I'm going to do a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen it yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. One of Us. You, you are one of us. This episode did a lot, and I'm really actually glad about the stuff, but let's jump right on into it. May's ex-husband. You guys, if, if she was married to him, I could have a shot with Mulan from Once Upon a Time. So, you know, Ming Na Wen, call me. Shit. I don't know, guys. I love that. But we're going to jump more into that in a second. Calvin rounds up the troops of freaks. It's like... The Breakfast Club with superpowers and evil tendencies. So it's basically The Breakfast Club. I loved how Sky was asking questions about May. Like, what is she like? Is it like pillow talk or pillow stern looks at each other? And I'm like, she's asking what we're all thinking. Because once he said, once she's an ex husband, like, my mom always hated the fact that I divorced you. And I was like, oh shit. Why would you do something like that? Let's j I want, I, I demand a flashback of that. That's what I want a flashback of. You know that guy with the whole with the Bane mask, Hannibal Lecter, the the mouth thing. I really felt like he was early Black Bolt. Like I loved his. I, he didn't do or say much, but I did like his character. His character like that perfect like Star Scream kind of no, not Star Scream like um Silver Banshee kind of character. Like use your voice to like inca incapacitate people. And I hope we see more of the freaks. Cause I liked them, and he was making it rain birds. Wish he, wish he was around when I was playing Resident Evil 1 with the awkward shooting and shit. I could never shoot them birds correctly. I love Kyle McMallan as Calvin Zabo. That is just what he does is great. He's like, he was just like, oh no, 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 don't, 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 don't talk yet. I, we want to live. Let's have a bigger audience and just. How he antagonizes S.H.I.E.L.D. and what he wants and how he doesn't get it and the whole Jekyll and Hyde thing. I just love everything about it. Like, the real S.H.I.E.L.D., it's David Hasselhoff. That's first off. Could you imagine they get David Hasselhoff to come back as a, Nick, as a white Nick Fury? Or just as like some kind of a cameo? Just like, hey, I'm Nick Fury. I'm like, oh god, I remember that. Don't bother, but... A lot of you were asking what I thought that meant, and uh, I think that could be either uh, S.W.O.R.D., which is the Sentinel World Observation and Response de Department. It's another counterterrorism unit like um, like S.H.I.E.L.D. and, and uh, Intelligence and Marvel that deals with extraterrestrial threats to world security, so I don't think it's them. I don't think S.W.O.R.D. would come into play until uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and the Inhumans, possibly. Because once Thanos comes to Earth, and the Guardians and the, possibly the Inhumans come, then that's when, we'll be, that's when Earth will realize, hey, we've got threats from space coming. We need to, you know, figure out how to deal with those threats. And then, oh, maybe, then maybe that'll birth the Nova Corps, and maybe they'll get a Nova movie, but, you know, just fingers crossed for a Nova movie. And Strike is another... Um, another organization. It's the Special Tactical Reserve for International Key Emergencies. It's another intelligence counterterrorist unit you already know, and they deal with superhuman threats. So I'm thinking maybe it's Strike, or maybe it is Real Shield. But I'm just going with that. It could also be Safe or the Secret Warriors, because um, May, because uh, Mac and Bobby are in that. So. I don't know. My closest bet would probably be for Strike, though. Strike sounds really good until this whole until uh, um, Age of Ultron happens, and then I uh, I think Hydra will be officially done for, and then we can start rebirthing Shield again. But what did you guys think of the episode? I thought it was really well done. I thought that I I was hoping that uh, Sky's dad with the whole but gathering people would have lasted a little bit longer. Like you know he he gets more people, but then the Inhumans are coming, so 
The blonde guy came in last minute, teleported his ass out like you were misbehaving, quit misbehaving, and you know, we'll see what happens. And I'm really excited for that. Common question of the day is, which kind of freak would you gather off the index? They can have whatever normal superpowers you want. I would want a freak who has the ability to do what the screaming guy does, because that would be useful in missions and all that. But comment down below what you thought about the episode and what kind of powers would you have if you were an inhuman. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next week for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And stay tuned for The Flash, because trust me, we have a lot to talk about. Always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time.